on today's episode of Horror Junkies. I am indestructible. Make sure to take that. That'd be a bad thing to forget. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm walking through what is essentially a subway tram. This is like Cloverfield all over again. Yeah. Then the bad's gonna happen in here. Phone call? Simon. Simon, are you there? Yeah. Catherine, is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you alright? The system says the section is sealed for suspected hull breach. No, I'm not alright. What the hell happened <sighs> to the world? Why are we underwater? Well, you're really out of place, aren't you? Yeah. Look, don't worry about that right now. I realize you're confused, but you're so close to Lambda. If you just keep going. How close? Can I walk there? Yeah, but this tunnel is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. Oh, what you need God. to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance hatch. No problem. Yeah, no fucking problem. That's what's great. I gotta go. See you soon, Simon. Catherine? You okay? You just hung up. Why are you asking? Why does it look like I'm getting woozy? I guess I was just in the, like, a... A shuttle. That looks like a face. There's the eyes and the mouth. Was that, oh, was that the maintenance hatch? <laughs> Make it look like a face. Apparently that's the key. Look at my arms. I look like I'm from Tron. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna fill with water. This game really chokes and starts to load. Here we go again. Yeah, man. Into the deep. Open. Can you open, please? There we go. Oh, and a ladder comes down too. That's nice. That's nice. I don't know. I feel like the ocean floor is kind of less intimidating. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I swear my feet are in this. Right? I mean, really? How big can this ocean be? Why would you even ask yourself that question? Because now you put the thought in my head. I'm just going to follow that light. Star of David right there. But I feel like just because I said that the ocean floor is less scary than inside, this is totally where we're going to get attacked. We got fucking mecha alien death shark. Just going to swoop down and eat my face gonna happen. That just sounded like weird beeping music. I feel like I hear stuff. Or I'm crazy. Both seem like very valid options. I think it was my footsteps. I heard myself. Terrified of myself. Like, I don't know. I feel like... Horror games... Every sound is like... 
a warning. So you hear footsteps, and you're like, oh god, what's that? But like, you're playing Call of Duty, you hear footsteps, you don't give a shit. So I was paranoid, and I forgot that I had feet, and they were making contact with the ocean floor. I saw a sign that said I was going the right way, at least. <clears throat> that crashed submarine? That's pretty cool. It's got a name on it. I don't know what it says, though. Let's just continue on. What's that? Welcome to Lambda. This is like, oh boy. Who are you and what are you doing? Where did he go? There he is. What? You look away so I can sneak past you, please. What? Well, he saw me. Or did he? I'm just gonna walk past you. You're very unobservant. That was that was nice. That was pretty easy. I'm satisfied with that. I didn't have to like stress. I really work hard to get past him. Except for the part where he like charged at me and then just gave up. That was weird. I'm gonna kill you. Uh, never mind. What's this? I see lights. Lambda? Have I found you? What is that? What was up with that, like, Nancy Drew discovery sound? I really want to see what this is. Like a tiny little mini sub. The hell? Cortex chip. <laughs> well, I guess I can't end the game just yet. Why does it look like I can keep going? But this clearly looks like a lambda right here. This must be lambda. Or Catherine is. Yeah, but why does it look like I can keep going? Yeah. Let's do it. Get inside. Mm. <sighs> Catherine? Hello? Is anybody home? Catherine? I thought that was a ball. The hell? Catherine?
What the fuck is that? The fuck? The fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Simon, right here. No, not you too. Damn it. I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. I can't take any more. This is... Everything's fucked. I give up. There's nothing left. <laughs> it's calm fuck it. It's I'm dead. The end of the world. You sure? It sure is how it looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way. But I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I... I don't... You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I... I... I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, can no. you tell me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. Your project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay, focus. I, I need you to robot. fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can sulk as much as you want. You gotta be kidding, right? I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. I just need to access the computer. Oh, is that an Omni tool you're carrying? Oh, the door opener? <laughs> yeah, that's... I woke up. I don't have to do. Plug it into the terminal. That's essentially door, what it is to whatever. me. A door opener. What terminal? When the Omni tool is loaded, just plug my Cortex chip into the tool. What's a Cortex chip? It will be obvious. I'll eject it for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Come on, I just need you to do this one thing for me. Sure, whatever. Fine. But seriously, what was that thing? The Omnitool is ready now. El Miron? Should be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Why does a robot chip fit a door opener? It's standardized connected. Uh, Catherine? Alright, let's give this a try. Does that mean you're gonna come with me now? Will I have someone to talk to? Why is my vision all like. Just pretty much anything will fit. Oh, this feels weird. I'm in the Omnitool? Thanks. You're welcome. So, what's the project about? My project? Oh, well. I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were going to launch it into space to save it from, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people That's Doctor space? Who shit right there. I'm yes. pretty sure that actually happened. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then suddenly what? it became very important, and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. He has no questions about know, the comet taking up the surface. Right it came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. So uh, they're two separate, uh, like, consciousness? robots. Are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, all right, finally. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Cap. Thanks. I'll unlock the door for you. Check the computer in the other room. No. Give me my tool back. That's my door opener. What was it said before? Are you from Toronto? Yeah. I just went in for a brain scan and suddenly here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How... 
Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Whoa. So what year is this now? Wait, did I miss a date somewhere? Shit. I wonder if this is the virtual world. If this is the arc. I mean, this would be a really weird setting. Please tell me I kicked something. Um, go and. What are you doing? Be careful. Oh, God. He's breaking that shit. What do I do if I see it? Don't make any sense of it. You say something? Sorry, still trying to figure out how you got here. You got it. I'd really like to know who thought sending a Canadian to the bottom of the sea was a good idea. Right? <laughs> Wait, didn't... This is where she sent me, right? I just went in a big circle. I'm going in the bathroom? Where the fuck am I going? Did I miss something? I must have missed something. What happened before? That creature was strangely overbearing. Yeah, it basically exploded with electromagnetism. Confusing at least. Gives the senses a good punch. Still don't know what I'm trying to do, because I thought I had to look for some files in the door across the hall. And I get into the door across the hall. There's no files here. Does this game have, like, a map? Or objectives. Anything that explains what the fuck I should be doing right now. Totally lost. I told you. Go check the computer in the other room. This is the only computer in the other room, and it's not on. Or that computer? Fridge? A munch print? Seems like they're 3D printing food. Seriously. Okay. Like, a map? Or something? Or am I just dumb? What? Nothing. Never mind. I'm getting annoyed. Also, how is she still talking to me when she's that far away? Oh, this room. One of these rooms. Don't say across the hall. This is not across the hall. Just check the computer. Yes, look for anything about the arc. But if I do that, that scary thing is gonna come back. What is this? Area map. I don't know what those red things mean. Data recovered. Arc. Okay. Opinion poll. Interview one. I don't care. Is this from inside the Ark? Yes. 
That's some early renders of the world inside. Looks a whole lot comfier than this place. <laughs> That's for sure. That's it. It's just a box. Yeah, that means nothing. Um, welcome. If you are reading this, you have successfully entered the Ark. Blah, blah, blah. Um. 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 I'm gonna say alien. How would you describe your mental condition? Lost. How would you describe your senses? Well, I can't smell anything. And I can't technically touch anything. Um, I'm just going to assume he has all his senses. How would you describe the sensation of your new condition? I can't shake the feeling of it all being fake. Yeah, it's kind of like a bad dream. Are you troubled by the fact that you're no longer strictly human? Um, yeah. Somewhat. Sure. Uh, how do you perceive your new existence? Uh, it's a... Something completely different has nothing to do with me. I don't know. Do you think your new existence will be worth a life worth living? Uh, sure. How many questions? Would you rather be removed from the project and accept death? <laughs> yes. I was kind of wondering if I was in the Ark if I said that, if it would just kick me out and kill me. I found a tracker homed in on the Ark. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. <laughs> That's so weird. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. It's doing something at least. Where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Please let it be safe. Well, it's around Earth. I don't think it ever left. Yeah, I don't think it ever left. Well, it's not here. Yeah, I found it. Oh, come on, man. I found it. It's at a site named Tau. Oh, no. It's on Earth. It's so close to fire, they almost made it. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. A couple of decades at most. Oh, no. That's not much to build a future. If we got to it, could, could we get on the Ark? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. You're in my friggin' thing. I put you in my pocket. I'll take us there. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there and you'll show me what to do. That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. Come on, this I'd is what like you're going to do. Your final mission. Let's launch the Ark. We would need to find a way to get into the Abyss. Can't take the climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray the Dumbad's still working. Okay. So we go to Thayda. I don't know what those words mean. I don't know, it's pretty far. Cameron, guys, look around. What else is there? This guy's like you know what? really blindly jumping I found on board. A sunken vessel just outside. Bet that could take us to Theta. Really? Didn't look completely out of action. It even lit up a little when I tried the Omni tool on it. Okay then, let's have a look. I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. Can I pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon. Okay, so now I'm wondering. Alright, this is me theorizing, because I like to do that. I like to ruin stories for myself. So, <clears throat> this is like the Matrix, man. So this, Pathos, is the real world. And the life he was living in, like, you know, 2015 Toronto, that was on the actual arc. But I guess, my guess is for some reason, they... They were aware it didn't launch, so they kind of 
scan this guy's brain, put him into like one of those helpers or something, because I'm still sure he's a robot, and now they want him to launch the Ark. My game crashed here before, and it's being choppy, so I'm really worried it's going to crash again. And go slow. Slow and steady. Easy does it. Sweep. And now we pray. I mean, I could totally be overthinking this whole story prediction, but I think it's a decent guess. Kind of. Maybe, because, yeah, that's... That's what I think. Back out into the ocean. 